Hey guys, it is a cloudy rainy day here in Philadelphia. So I kind of previewed my dorm, my room, briefly in my move-in day vlog. If you haven't watched that, click the card. It's going to appear at the top of the screen. But anyways, I'm going to be giving more... In I'm going to be giving a more in-depth look into my dorm, my room, where I'm located, things of that nature. So let's get on with the video. Okay, so this is my hall, and this is my room. This is the door you see when you first walk in. So my room is a quad, it's a quad suite, so there's two rooms and two half bathrooms. We don't have our fourth roommate, so Julie over here gets to have her own room, and Vivian and I share a room here. So I'm going to show you this part first, sorry for the lighting, but this is our refrigerator and microwave. This is one of the three mini fridges that we have. So we had to rent this from the school, so we all split it, and it's basically, it's a fridge, I don't know. Not much in here right now. Yeah. Uh, this is the water pitcher that I brought. Everything that I brought that is mine, I will put in the description box where I got most of them. And if any lookalikes I can find, I will put a link for them. This is a Keurig that I also brought. And that leads us to the first bathroom. Focus. Okay. The vent is loud, but this is the bathroom. And we all share this bathroom and we have to clean it as well. So this is the second bathroom which has the shower. Yeah. Again, basic, standard bathroom. Here's a trash can. <laughs> so this is Julie's room. I'm not gonna go in there out of respect of her privacy. This is a little snack slash drink coffee cart that I brought, here's a cereal box too. And now we get into my room. So out of respect for Vivian, I will not be showing her side of the room, so I'm going to be showing my side. So here's the top, this is the most messiest part of the room. It has all my cleaning and laundry and stuff, detergent, things like that. This is my steamer that I brought, my shower caddy which has my lotion and my sponge, some extra purses, and some extra bags over here for the trash can. This is my entire closet, which has a pretty good amount of space, actually. So I just keep like the shirts that I frequently wear here. Yeah, and then here's a rack that I brought for my scarves, but I ended up putting my scarves in my drawer. Here we go down. Can't see it really well. Hold on one second. Okay, that's better. So here is the shoe rack that I bought from Bed Bath & Beyond. My boots are on top with my heels and my sneakers down at the bottom. Then we get to my drawer that they provide. So at the top I have all my water bottles and my mugs and my cups and my plates and bowls and my workout gloves and whatnot. Here are my drawers that I keep like things like underwear, you know, pants, my scarves, my hijabs. You guys don't need to see that. <laughs> then we get to my wall. 
So I got these lights at Target. And I strung them up in like a little type of tent type of way. You guys wanna see the whole thing? Yeah. So, hanging on the cork strip that the school has. Don't mind the tape up there, it's okay. I have pictures of friends and family all lining the wall. Then I have that banner, class of 22 that Temple provides, and I have these three wall arts, and a hat. This uh, old friend of mine painted this for me for my birthday. I got this at TJ Maxx, and I got this as a present from my cousin. This hat I got here at the school. So yeah. Now we get to my bed. So, I have three pillows, very basic. All my bedding will be in the description box, like I said. This pillow, however, I got at TJ Maxx. This blanket, it's not a comforter. It's too thin to be a comforter, but it's not too th thick either, if that makes sense. I got it for my cousin. My cousin gave me a lot of things, so I didn't have to buy many things. There's my keys, my phone, you know, my backpack. Here is a throw fleece blanket I have on my bed and my laptop right here so under the bed I'm gonna show you guys briefly you have ah, under the bed there's quite a bit of storage so here I have my suitcase I have a trunk I have any boxes that I need to pack things in leftover blankets and stuff when it gets cold over there are my sweaters and at the bottom of that, I have like formal wear and stuff that I don't really need right now. So yeah. Now we head over to my desk. Here's a desk fan. A clip-on fan that came with like the whole package that I bought for my bedding. I don't really like it, like the way it clips on because I can't really clip it onto anything else. So I just left it there. My books, some more art, lotions, perfumes. Here's where I do some of my work. Most of my work I do in my comfy bed. I have this little thing to keep my makeup and everything that my cousin gave me. Again, my cousin gave me a lot of things. Some wet wipes, water, paper towels, case for my pencils and pens. And here I have things like pins and post-its and whiteout tissues pictures of friends again, my desk lamp that my cousin also gave me, very bright, ooh, it's really bright actually, okay, <laughs> let me turn that off now, ah, and with the desk comes four drawers, or three drawers, so I keep my medicine and everything else in here, like napkins, um, tired to go, really miscellaneous. In here I keep all my tech stuff for my camera, my tripod, any wires. And at the bottom one I keep any like important papers or envelopes. At the bottom of my desk I have my printer that I have yet to use because I don't have ink for it. So Now here is a cork slash whiteboard that I brought. I bought it off Amazon. I will link it. And then we get to this side where I have this little container to keep all my snacks in. On top of it is my prayer mat and the scarf that I wear to pray as well as my prayer beads. And this is the mirror that I use to put on my makeup. I got it at TJ Maxx. And I put it here because the window is right here, so the light always comes through this way. And it's the best way to get natural lighting for my makeup. So yeah, that's pretty much it.
so that is it guys that is my side of the room as I stated for respect of my roommates I will not be showing their parts of their room but I hope you liked it this is in White Hall at Temple University so if you're looking into going to Temple University this is a hall that I believe you could definitely enjoy um I don't know I can't speak right now White Hall is a good place to start your journey here at Temple as a freshman you get to learn the faces you see familiar faces every day on campus from your hall from even from your floor they do many things so the residents can get together and learn and bond and one another so I think it's really really nice and it's pretty big for a freshman dorm surprisingly so get your money's worth honestly there's other dorm rooms in other places in the country that are literally the size of like shoe boxes so I think that White Hall is a pretty good place to start and you have your own bathroom like no communal bathrooms that's the best thing ever so but yeah I hope you enjoyed please like comment subscribe you know what to do and I will see you next week bye